retrouvez les fameux drapings où Pollock, l'artiste, peignait sur toile. Même au sol, il n'y avait qu'un pas à la manufacture pour découvrir la performance de Jim et Michel, un rare moment théâtral. I was here once to see a show, but I've never performed here before. Elle est déjà venue pour voir uh, une, un spectacle, mais elle n'a jamais joué. Uh, and, and me, it's my first time, and I love it. Ah. <laughs> love it. Première fois, il adore. I, I also love it. Yeah. Yes, we love it. <laughs> we love it. I'm honest. Came up to you and heard dance with me, gorgeous. I don't remember. I stepped on your toes. That's why I forgot. Il aura l'occasion d'aller jusqu'à une exposition. En palais ouais. de peinture, est-ce que est pour lui ça sera l'occasion de Peng Yang savoir si dans sa vie il aime la peinture aussi? Okay. Do, in life, do you like paint, uh, painting and uh, do you think it's the occasion to go to the Grand Palais here? Uh, there is an exhibition about a painter. Oh, which painter? Um, I don't do you know him? C'est un Uh, Young Ping. Young Ping? Oh no, I, I didn't hear about that, but definitely I'll go. I love painting. Painting means a lot to me. Yeah, it's a big part of my life. Il aime beaucoup, c'est une grande partie de sa vie et il pense qu'il ira la voir. Yeah, I think of painting a lot, yeah. La peinture, elle reste au sol et ça constitue comme une sorte de tapis. Does the painting uh, stay on the floor and uh, made some kind of uh, floor, like a painted floor or carpet? Well, the painting, you mean Pollock? Oh, yeah, that yeah. painting? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, they, they clean it up every night. Uh, um, uh, Mathilde, Colleen, Lucien, uh, they clean it up every night. They're probably still in there cleaning it up. <laughs> It's it's funny. Sometimes uh, the, sometimes the paintings are really good. You know, the ones that you paint, the ones that uh, uh, um, that we do on the wall together. And then I, I, I sometimes I really like them, but every night gone, destroyed. <laughs> that's that's theater. Yeah. That is theater. Yeah. <laughs> Tous les soirs, ils sont euh, c'est nettoyé par euh, des membres de l'équipe. Donc il y a Luciane, Colline et, euh, et Mathilde qui nettoient ça tous les soirs. Et donc tu disais que parfois, euh, ce sont des très bonnes peintures euh, qu'ils font au plateau euh, pendant le spectacle. Et, euh, et yeah. ça, ça leur fait un peu bizarre de les voir effacer tous les soirs, mais, mais c'est le théâtre. Yeah, le théâtre. Up in smoke. Et dernière question, est-ce que l'âme de Pollock est en eux quand euh, il joue Uh, when you play, do you think that uh, Pollock is somewhere watching you, or uh, how do you feel about the fact to to be him uh, for a while? Um, you know, the play sort of makes that happen. The text it really makes that happen. So I kind of just. I go for the ride and I try to stay open about it, but uh, I don't get into this big thing about uh, I am Jackson Pollock. I like to be, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a play and, um, and I really like that it's, um, that it, it's about other things. It's really, it's, it's, uh, to me this play is about Lee Krasner and Jackson Pollock. It's about, uh, but not just that, it's not even about that because it's not exactly what they were. It's it's it, with all the music and everything. It's it's a it's a play about uh, male and female, like a male and female thing. I, I like to think of it like uh, like um, like a real connection, but with all kinds of uh, um, dynamics. But it turn it it also turns into a sort of a, um, androgyne, like a hermaphrodite androgyne, like a male female when it when it comes together. Yeah. And so it's, it's like that, and the, the whole Pollock and Krasner story is just another um, vehicle for doing that, that thing, because clearly um, in this play, uh, they, they totally, uh, they're, they're together, and, but they can't be together, they're together and separate, and it's, it's intense, you know? That's what I think about with this. So it's not just Jackson Pollock, I think, I think about Lee Krasner a lot in this. It, and for you, Lee? <laughs> do, you feel like, do you feel like you're portraying Lee? I mean, it might be different. Uh, not literally, 
you know, but I do feel like there's some, um, there's a moment here for a woman to be seen and heard who wasn't and who sacrificed a lot and, and wasn't recognized until later. And so, you know, I hope we're doing something to rectify that in her honor or in her spirit. Yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, donc, euh, il disait que il n'est pas tellement dans, dans le fait vraiment d'incarner la version. En tout cas, il, il, c'est un, un rôle qu'il joue. Donc, forcément, il euh, y, a, y a une part de Jackson Pollock qu'il essaye d'interpréter. Mais il pense que la pièce va bien au-delà de juste interpréter le rôle de Jackson Pollock. Et c'est plus une. Le, le, vrai, la, le vrai sujet, c'est plus la relation qu'il avait avec Lee Krasner. Et c'est même pas juste l'histoire de Lee Krasner et de la Jackson Pollock, c'est autre chose, c'est euh, comment on raconte une histoire en, en utilisant cette histoire-là, euh, comment on raconte de manière plus générale les liens entre un, un homme et une femme, et, euh, et quelque chose qui... qui qui les lie et la dynamique qu'il y a entre eux euh, et qui font qu'ils ont été ensemble euh, malgré des moments de conflit toute leur vie euh, et, euh, et comment voilà ça, ça parle de, de, de quelque chose de, de beaucoup plus vaste euh, et, et tout autant actuel et euh, Michel expliquait également que euh, pour elle interpréter Lee Krasner c'est aussi essayer d'une certaine manière de rectifier euh, euh, un oubli dans l'histoire comme il y en a eu beaucoup sur les femmes euh, qu'elles soient euh, peintres ou artistes voilà euh, et qu'elle espérait qu'en en, en, en donnant la parole à quelqu'un qui a sacrifié la sienne pendant toute sa vie euh, bah, pour, son, pour son époux euh, on arrivait un petit peu à faire ça Oh but can I add one thing um, <laughs> That said I do I, I go and look at Pollock paintings to prepare for this. I read his, uh, his, his writings and I look at his videos of him and Lee Krasner. I look at her paintings, read what she's written. And I, I think I got this role without even auditioning because I looked like Pollock. So, <laughs> so, but that was before, that was before I had my beard. And looked like this, <laughs> Euh, il expliquait qu'il a, il a beaucoup, euh, il est allé voir beaucoup d'expos, d'œuvres de Jackson Pollock. Il a lu toute sa biographie et pareil pour les Krasner, mais il pense qu'il a eu vraiment le rôle uniquement parce qu'il le ressemble en fait physiquement. Ouais, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you very much.